Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the official Sanaja mod version. Actually, any official version of Sanaja mod for the 2013 Nexus 7, as you can see right here. This is also known as the second generation Nexus 7. Uh, as you can see, the backing. You can clearly tell that this is the second generation of the Nexus 7. Uh, if you want to find a link to this wallpaper, I'll put a link in the video description. There you can find a link to the wallpaper I'm using, the live wallpaper. Anyway, getting along. Um, basically, the reason I say this will work for any version is because the San Andrew mod, the installation instructions never change. They're always the same. So even if you're watching this when Android 4.4 releases, or heck, maybe even Android 5.0 releases, whenever, uh, the instructions will always be the same and relevant, okay? The because the installation instructions never change. And I'll, I'll tell you how to look up different versions of San Andrew mod uh, really shortly. But first off, this is only compatible with the 2013 edition of the Nexus 7, the second generation. And of the second generation of the Nexus 7, there's a Wi-Fi only model and the LTE model. This is the Wi-Fi only model. If you're running the LTE model, you'll have to uh, find, well, the instruction will be the same, but you have to find your version uh, separately. I'll show you where to find that. Uh, also, your device must be rooted, have uh, some sort of custom recovery installed. Um, also an unlock bootloader. If you want to know how to do that, I have two videos showing how to do that. One video, I'll put links to both videos in the description as well. One video is exclusive only to the Nexus 7. The second video can work on any Nexus device. Um, you can watch both and decide which one's easier to follow. The method to do it for any Nexus device might be a little bit easier for some people. By attempting to follow instructions in this video, should something go wrong, you could permanently damage your device. If that is the case, I take no responsibility. So you follow instructions in the video at your own risk. Furthermore, I am not a developer, so please do not ask me any technical questions because I won't respond. I, I wouldn't know what to do because I'm not a developer. If you have any technical questions, ask in this uh, forum. Just sign up and ask in here. I'll put a link to this forum page in the video description. This is the official Sanjay Mod forum for the Google Nexus 7 2013 edition. Be sure to back up any apps and data. Uh, pictures and music should be okay. Pictures and music you should back up just in case. But your apps and the, the data involved with the apps will be deleted no matter what. So if you want to know how to back those up, I'll include a video in which I show you how to get that done in the description below as well. Uh, just simply follow the instructions in that video and you can back up all your apps and all that other good stuff. Okay, so assuming that your device is, you know, rooted, has some sort of custom recovery, um, and it has an unlocked bootloader, now what you want to do is actually get the Sanjay mod ROM, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll put a link to this page in the video description. This page will only be for the Google Nexus 7 2013 edition, the Wi-Fi version. Okay, this is only for the Wi-Fi version. Now, if you want to know where the LTE version is going to be, it's going to be somewhere in this huge list. And you'll notice that the names change. That's because, for some reason, Sanajamod decided to put the code name for every phone and tablet. You're just going to find out what the code name is and then find the LTE version of the uh, 2013 Nex Nexus 7. What you want to do is decide which type of version you want to download. And what I basically meant by that is how stable it is. As you can see, right now there's only nightly. Nightly basically means that they literally release it nightly, every night. Uh, there's a new version releasing daily. Uh, they are experimental, so you can flash it at your own risk. Usually they work pretty good for the most part. I'm going to be using a nightly in this video. Oh, also, if you want to see a demonstration of Sanjay Mod in action, I will be making a demo video very shortly, uh, but that will be in a separate video, and I'll include a link to that video in the video description as well. Just simply expand it and find it there. Anyway, so Nightly stands for Nightly. It's a very, very exper experimental phase. If you see a different one called Snapshot, Snapshot is basically released monthly. It's a bit more stable, but it's still experimental. Then, of course, you have something called RC, or it'll be Release Candidate. Uh, release Candidate, or RC, whatever. Um, is almost completed, but not quite there yet. And of course, the best version is stable. It'll say here, stable. Obviously, it's stable. It's completed and ready to go. Now, as I said, you can. this video will always be relevant for any Sanjay Mod version. So what you want to do is basically look for which version of Sanjay Mod you want here, okay? So this is where it lists the stability type, and this is where it shows the Sanjay Mod version. As you can see, CM10.2 are the only versions available as of right now. 10.2 is actually Android 4.3. So 
So on Android 4.4 releases, it'll be San Engine Mod 10.3. I know the numbering is a little strange and different, but uh, it's, 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 that's just the way it is. And now, if in the future you're not sure which San Engine Mod version corresponds to which Android version, just type in Google something like, uh, say you want to find out what CM 10.2 is. I'll go to Google and type CM 10.2 Android version. And then I'm sure you get a whole bunch of websites telling you which version of Android it is. So what you're going to do is just click any of these uh, links here. As you can see, it says zip. Just click it, download it, and then we're going to download the G apps. Uh, this page, I'll put a link to this page also in the video description. And because I'm downloading San Engine Mod 10.2, as you can see on the, here on the side, it says San Engine Mod 10.2, I'm going to download the corresponding G apps version. Just click download, a new page opens, and once that's done, you want to copy and paste those two zip files you just downloaded. Uh, the San Engine Mod ROM and then the G apps. Copy and paste both of them into the internal memory of your tablet because there is only an internal memory. As you can see, here's the San Engine Mod ROM, here's G apps. Obviously, I did this by connecting my tablet to the computer with the USB cord, nothing fancy. And what I do at this point is disconnect my tablet from the computer and we'll continue from there. Okay, so you have to basically restart your device into your custom recovery. Now, I find that the easiest method is to use an app called Quick Boot. I have a video showing how to use this app. I think it's fantastic. Everyone should download and install it. Um, I'll put a link in, in the description as well showing you how I use this app and how it works and stuff. So I'm going to use it to boot into my recovery because it's just a lot easier and faster. Once I'm in my custom recovery, uh, whether you're using Clockwork Mod or Team Win Recovery Project, I think most mostly people should be on Team Win Recovery Project. We'll continue from there. Okay, so um, I am in Team Win Recovery Project. This is my custom recovery. And what I'm going to do is select to wipe. These steps will be almost similar, almost the same if you're using Clockwork Mod Recovery. You just have to look for the right title. I'll, I'll tell you what the title is. I basically want to wipe uh, Data Factor Reset my entire tablet. So what I'm going to do is select wipe. And as you can see, it says right here, swipe to factory reset. So I'm just going to swipe to factory reset. I'm going to do that twice. I'm going to factory reset twice. Um, you don't have to. I'm doing it twice because on a different device using a different ROM, I had to wipe data factory re twice in order to make it work. I didn't, it didn't work properly doing it once. So I'm going to do is press back and do it yet again. Again, you don't have to do it twice, but I will. It's done. Now, what you want to do is um, select advanced wipe. On Clockroom Mod Recovery, it should just be on the main menu where you can just wipe cache. Okay, so I'm going to cross that. I'm going to swipe to wipe. Again, I'm going to do this twice. You don't have to, but I will. Be careful not to, uh, to do something like internal storage. You should have backed up all your pictures and stuff anyway, but that will wipe absolutely everything on your uh, tablet, okay? So wipe to wipe, back, okay, back again, back again. What do you want to do at this point now that we're at the main screen? You want to install the ROM itself. So what we're going to do now is select install. And as you can see, this is the um, root directory of my internal storage. So I'm going to go all the way down. And what you want to do is select San Engine Mod, the ROM itself. As you can see, I have San Engine Mod 10.2. It's dated nightly. Uh, that's the file name. So I'm going to select that. And what you're going to do now is I, I, I prefer to play it safe. I'm not going to add more zips. I'm just going to do swipe to confirm flash. Now it's flashing the ROM. When it's done, we'll continue on. Okay, so once it's complete, as you can see, it says successful. Uh, what I'm going to do now is press home. Install yet again. I'm going to go all the way down. Well, it's already all the way down. And this time I'm going to install the G apps zip file you guys should have downloaded as well. As you can see, it says G apps, JB, the date, whatever. Just select that. Swipe to confirm flash. It's going to do it a little bit faster than the ROM flash, and we'll continue once it's done. Okay, so install G apps successfully, as you can see. We're going to do is select reboot system and um, well, I'll fast forward the video a bit but basically uh, as I mentioned if you want to see a demo of San Engine Mod in action I'll include a link to that video in the video description um, showing you various features, how stable, actually I'm not going to go over the stability because it depends if you flash a nightly version, a release candidate or stable in the future so I'm just going to go over the general features and functions of San Engine Mod for you guys. Um, and right before I finish this video, I do want to prove that I am running San Engine Mod perfectly fine. There's a startup, but we'll fast forward the video a bit. Okay, so I want to show you that everything is installed successfully. So I'm going to go to About Tablet. Uh, I just saw it. Where is it? San Engine Mod version and 10.2 nightly. 
Okay, the first startup when you when you installed um, Synergy Mod everything correctly and you have the Synergy Mod logo ring you know twirling, that'll take a few minutes to start up because it's the first time it's using the ROM. So it, it, be patient on the first startup, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button; it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.